Hello! Today you will learn a new way to memorize the unit circle. This new way is called the left hand trick and will help you remember the first quadrant of the unit circle. If you look at your left hand, each finger is going to represent a point on the unit circle for the first quadrant. Let's start by labeling each finger a degree. When labeling your fingers, it is helpful to remember a pattern. This pattern goes 30, 15, 15, 30. You always want to start at zero degrees, so label your pinky zero degrees. According to the pattern, 30 can be added to zero, making your next degree 30 degrees. Then the pattern says 15. So if you add 15 to 30, your next finger is 45 degrees. Using the pattern, add 15 again. Your next finger will equal 60 degrees. To finish off the pattern, add 30 degrees again. So your last finger, your thumb finger, is 90 degrees. We have officially assigned each finger a degree. Go ahead and fill in the radium form for each degree. So we have labeled our fingers in radian and degree form. Let's find out the points. Each point has an X and Y coordinate. Each part of the point needs to follow the pattern square root over 2. You use your fingers to put a number in the square root spot. So let's start with our ring finger, which you can see is colored purple. Recognize there are three fingers to the left of your ring finger. Take the number three and put it underneath the square root. This makes square root of three over two. This is your x coordinate for 30 degrees. Now look, there is one finger to the right of your ring finger. Place one under the square root, making square root of one over two. But square root of one equals one. So square root of one over two equals one half. This is your Y coordinate for 30 degrees. We have now just found that the 30 degrees has the point square root of three over two one half. Now for the middle finger. You can see that there are two fingers to the left and to the right of your middle finger. So you can place two under the square root for both the x and y coordinate. So square root of two over two and square root of two over two are both the x and y coordinate. We have just found that 45 degrees has the point square root of two over two square root of 2 over 2. Let's continue to our pointer finger, or the index finger. There is one finger to the left of your index finger. Remember, you must put 1 underneath the square root, so square root of 1 over 2. But remember, that also equals 1 half, so our x coordinate equals 1 half. Now look that there are three fingers to the right of your index finger. Place the three underneath the square root. So that square root of three over two is your Y coordinate. We have found that 60 degrees has the point one half square root of three over two. Now let's move on to our thumb. Notice there are no fingers to the left of your thumb. There are zero fingers, so place zero under the square root over two. This equals zero, so the x coordinate is zero. But to the right of your thumb, there are four fingers, so place four underneath the square root over two. Square root of four equals two, so two can replace square root of four over two. But two over two equals one, so the y-coordinate is one. We have just found 
that 90 degrees has the points 0, 1. Last but not least, our pinky. To the left of our pinky, there are four fingers. So, four is placed underneath the square root over two. Square root of four equals two over two. Two over two equals one. So we now find that the x coordinate equals one. Just like the thumb, there are zero fingers to the right of our pinky. So place zero underneath the square root. Square root of zero over two equals zero. So we now found that the y coordinate equals zero. We have just found that zero degrees has the point one zero. This concludes the points for quadrant one. You have just learned a new way to memorize the unit circle. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have learned a new way to help you memorize the unit circle. Thank you so much for watching and good luck.